So I guess we always about to get up out of here, but we'll get into a um, we'll get into a few would you rather's before we get up out of this mother. Would you rather? Would you rather lick the bottom of your shoe after the strip club or suck the ball rag at the closing? Oh, the bar rag. I said, I, I don't know why I saw that as bar rag. And what is a bar rag? Um, I think like what they use to clean up a bar. Like all No, I, I knew that. Oh, okay. I was thinking about bar rags, though, because oh, I, I started, my mind started clicking a little bit. Like, maybe I can have that as merch. <laughs> like, because niggas want to wipe their balls. You get what I'm saying? They get hot, especially in Austin. Like, you know, you always see like fat niggas. They just like towels and they just hold them on their head and shit like that. But what if like niggas with big dicks just had ball rags? You know what I'm saying? I just hold that bitch in my pocket and be like, and then you, it, it'd be kind of be like a conversation starter with bitches. You'd be like. You whip the ball rag out your pocket. She's like, damn, this nigga got the ball rag. All right. This nigga might got the yoinker. You get what I'm saying? So it'd be like, you get what I'm saying? So like, maybe we could drop some Danny Brown ball rags. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> but lick the bottom of a shoe after the strip club or the bar. I would rather lick the bottom of the shoe because it might be 100 on there. <laughs> Depending on what strip club you went to, you might lick yourself. You might lick 100 into your mouth. So depending on what strip club you went to, man, I, I'd rather probably lick the shoe. Cause the bar rag, you might get a um an infection. Or like some, you know, weird disease or something, man. It's COVID. It's shit like that, man. Like I we part two, man, we need to question these rags they use when they wipe the pole of the strip club. Like who says that's a clean rag? Like you know what I'm saying? You got your rag. She got her rag. Everybody got their own rags. Who knows what they wipe with the rag before they wipe the pole? You know, this they rag. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that is that. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Next one up. Next one up is, um, would you rather have a baby throw up on you or you throw up on a baby? I mean, come on, man. I'm not throwing up on no fucking baby, man. I got morals, man. You get what I'm saying? I'm grown. You get what I'm saying? I love kids. Danny, one thing I do, I love kids. I always say that, man. Kids are the funniest people, like, you know, unintentionally funny. Like, the most unintentionally people on earth that are funny to me is, is like, I don't know if they all, like, rank together, but old people, kids, and gay motherfuckers. Like, they all together. Like, you get what I'm saying? All the motherfuckers is just equally not intentionally funny. You get what I'm saying? I would be friends with any of those. You get what I'm saying? I would rather, that's all I want to be friends with. If old people, kids, and gay motherfuckers. You get what I'm saying? I want to hang. hang with no more regular people now because it's not, you don't get no entertainment out of it. It's not funny. You get what I'm saying? And it's just like, oh, I will say, man, look, man, you got to look out. I know everybody into crypto and shit. I will say this before I leave. Uh, my homie, he, he had his Instagram over 10 years. He done got caught up in a crypto scam. And it was so good, they had deep fakes of this nigga. Like, actually, like, I don't know what this nigga did, man, but his account is gone on Instagram, all that shit, whatever. But he's sending deep fakes. He's sending deep fakes of niggas with his face. Like, man, I just hit on that crypto. Put your money. I thought it was the nigga. This is my mans. I've known this nigga since high school. So the, the deep fake shit is just extra next level. We all seen the fucking Kendrick video. Which was that, but so it got to the point, it got to make me thinking, man. I really think that um, OnlyFans, all those bitches like AI bots, like defects, they all look the same. Because where these bitches come from? All these, it wasn't that many bad bitches in the world before um, COVID. I really feel like COVID happened. Some nigga figured out some AI OnlyFans, like these bitches ain't real. I ain't never seen none of these OnlyFans bitches in the world in the, in the real shit. So I'm just trying to tell y'all, man, all of it is a scam. Do not give your money to these OnlyFans bitches. They're not even real human beings. This is an AI-generated bot of a generated bitch that they would think you like, and I think it go into your algorithm of what type of bitch you see. And I know y'all probably thinking like, Danny, you tripping. That's some bullshit. But I might be on to something, and that might be what's going on in the future because I'm even thinking about like, man, maybe I need to find me an AI bot bitch like figure it out, like like VTubers and sh and shit like that. You get what I'm saying? I need to find my fake AI by bitch to start scamming y'all niggas with. It's Cause I'm trying to get this money too, man. 